Hello, in our previous video we gave a brief introduction to WebSocket server on the ESP32 inside ESP IDF environment and they compare it to the standard HTTP server and they are very similar and derived from the same uh, origin you can say. This is a fo following video where we uh, examine a WebSocket server on ESP32 which is a little bit more complicated, uh, more specifically in, in addition to the GET request, we also talk about the POST request. Like in the previous video here we simulating the client uh, by postman software and uh, put our server on the esp32 like in the previous video we start with the documentation which which is based on http server you can see here http server and when sockets web socket server is a part of http server with a very a brief explanation regarding the web socket server the difference here i didn't uh, liked a lot this example because i think it's complicated it's complicated but if you want to examine a more complicated example i would suggest this one which is come from github expressive advanced tests you can see the link here and here you have a, a pretty vast example of uh, the expressive perspective for websocket server with a long list of different um, different uh, uh, commands uh, you can see here http get from some link get 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 post put uh, post for different uh, link and so on uh, so if you want to see more complicated example i would suggest uh, this one and uh, we put our example that we worked on inside the same websocket server repository inside sims iot devices here and in this repository you have three files the basic http server which was used in the previous video the get basic uh, websocket server which was also used in the previous video and in this video we are going to, to talk about WebSocket server get and post this one and uh, get and post on the same URL we copied it to our editor here and uh, we will run it uh, just in parallel okay uh, let's go over the file that includes uh, please note we added a sys parameter in order to use a min function but it's a very small change basically the all includes are the same tag wi-fi handler wi-fi connection which are exactly the same we have a data type which is the same and which is advised by the expressive uh, examples where we have a HTTP handle for server instance and FD a number for the client identification the interesting thing that once the client uh, made a connection and you can remember this number which will be assigned by the system and use it to initiate a connection with the client okay now i will go to the uh, starting of the program we start the wi-fi connection wait it to take place and go to websocket server start which here uh, we have two uh, uh, post possibilities the get handler and the post handler both of those handler are here please note they are on the same 
on the same link here, the same error. The only difference is the method, which here is get and here is post, and the handler, which here is get and here is post handler. Uh, before we dive into those functions here, I will just demonstrate it. Uh, here we will see have a get request get and we have a get response from the web socket server here you can see the numbers that we have assigned is 57 for the server and we're executing this command and for the post the important thing inside row body we wrote the message hello from the client and make it on post uh, the gateway and the uh, additional link the gateway you can see here here is the gateway of your uh, router at home so i copied it here the same for the get yes and the additional ws was defined by the software and we will see it in a minute uh, let's press enter okay post response from the asp web server se se uh, server and hello from the client let's see let's see here post why we can see okay uh, here we press uh, to uh, i just print press ctrl c to initiate the server and uh, here we have a the big statement hello from the client and we have on the same connection 57 a post statement which will return post response from ESC, ESP32 WebSocket server. Let's go back to our code and uh, examine the post and the get handlers. The get handler is exactly the same as uh, we have in the previous video which initiates the queue for get and this is the option to initiate the queue we define the server argument the client argument initiate the queue and write the number 57 and then generate the queue with the appropriate memory location the post handler is a little bit different this part here is the same with the same structure but here we print the following statement we receive the size of uh, the string and uh, the string itself and then print it with the length constraint so we print only the relevant data if we won't use this thing with the receive side we will uh, receive hello from client and additional character which is, are was not intended to be received because our content is much bigger than the message that we are saying it's 100 okay here we print the data and here we started the queue after we have started the queue we have uh, basically the same functions which generate asynchronous get and asynchronous post request here is here we're starting the program and uh, the I, as i said in the previous video this header structure is very important here and here this is a free data that we can see that what you have seen here here post and when it's okay to request server here but this line is and this line are extremely important and the space bars and the uh, letters in each header are very important and define the connection if you will change change it it might not uh, work so 
the two post and get uh, functions as I say, they generate the response by generating the string, generating the headers, um, generating the data structure for the server and uh, the client and actually sending the uh, the relevant message the this is the main difference of the websocket server and the http server this command which enables us to say it send it using the queue and work it in on it with in parallel so that's it this is an example thank you